Welcome back guys, in today's video I will show you how you can get started with Google AI 2 called Gemini. So you would have to be logging into your Google account and then you can head to gemini.google.com slash app and you will see the app I'm using the window so that's how it looks like and first you will be presented with some of these tabs right here and they are actually quite useful if you are just getting started. So for example, if you click on the first one, you will see the prompt that you would have to enter to get the response of the draft as the response to a friend. And then these blue highlighted words right here, you can change it. So for example, you need help to a draft, a response to a colleague who is asking if you are available for the meeting or I don't know, something like that. If you click on the next one, you see help create a weekly plan for two. So the details that Gemini would need is for how long you need this plan, for how many people, any special dietary requirements such as gluten free, how much you want to spend per meal and that you would like to the responses be formatted and presented as a chart for the each day of the week. So the more information, the more details you will provide to Gemini, so the more specific response you will get. Okay, let's get started. So first, you can simply enter the add icon and you will see the extensions enabled and disabled on Gemini right now. So right now, if you are planning some trip, you can use Google Flights, Google Hotels, Google Maps, or also search within YouTube. Now what's disabled here is Gmail, Google Docs, and Google Drive, YouTube Music. So I am not subscribed for YouTube Music, so that's disabled. And also I do not have Google Workspace for all these to work. Okay, so essentially you could search within your Gmail, you could search within your documents, or all your files or drive if you have connected Google Workspace. Okay, so let's say we are just clicking on the maps and I would like to travel to Paris and I don't know how long that would take me. Okay, so you can see the response here by Google Maps saying how long it will take me and what is the distance and there's a map with the directions how to get from UK to Paris. Then if you scroll down here, you can also open this response in Maps since we search in the Maps. Now this section right here, you can click on double check a response. So if you click on double check response, Google will just verify its own response. So this sometimes is useful if you are creating some content, perhaps some, um, I don't know, history related or anything that has more facts in it, then you can double check with Google again because sometimes AI tools can glitch and can provide some information that might not be right. So double checking if you have a, a response uh, that contains a lot of facts can always be useful. Now from here you can also mark your response whether you like it or you think it's quite bad. Then from the share and export button you can share your chat with Gemini. So if you click on this it will create a public page to share and there will be a created public link. Now in the settings, I will show you in just a second, you can manage your public links. So if you don't want them to be stored with Gemini very long, you can just delete them or set up auto delete. Now if we close this and then again click on the share, you can export your chat to document or also save it in as a draft in your Gmail. So these are the options how you can share your um, chat with Gemini. Now on this tab right here, if you click on it more, you can copy this conversation or report some legal issues if you think that, uh, you know, there is something to be reported under data protection, copyright and other laws. So before we try any other prompts, let's just have a look on the settings tabs right here. So from the settings tab, you can access your X extensions, okay? So you can see that right now we have enabled, as we already saw, the Google Flights, Hotels and the Maps and then these ones are disabled now if you don't want to search anything with youtube or you don't even want for the maps to be used when on your uh, responses when the gemini um, creates a response for you you can disable all of this right here now and you can learn more what extensions you can possibly add to gemini so let's head back to the settings again so from here as i said you can manage your public links and you can also switch to the dark team. I still prefer the light one better, so I will just leave it to the white one. Then other sections right here, you can see your activity history. If you click on it, 
you will uh, see your uh, Gemini activity okay so you can set up auto deleting again delete any activity older than 18 months or if you click on it you can uh, select different duration or you can off and on uh, this uh, feature and then if you scroll down you can then see your activity today and you can also delete all your activity in the last hour last day always or select some custom range and then there is also the help button where you can read some more about the privacy, uh, see some updates or get some help or frequently ask questions, okay? And if you are interested in Gemini Advanced, you can also read here more and upgrade to the more advanced version. To start a new chat, you would head on the sidebar right here and click on this plus icon. Again, we are back on the beginning and we can start a new chat. Now, let's ask for some outline for a YouTube script. When entering your prompts, you can enter the text obviously. You can also add some images, upload them, and you can actually use a microphone and record your uh, prompt. Then, if you have recorded your prompt and you would like to listen back the response, you can click on this icon right here and then you can listen your response instead of reading it. Now, this was my prompt, outline for 8 minute long YouTube video script on topic how to make money with affiliate marketing suitable for beginners and have actionable steps included. Okay, so Gemini now provided this outline for me, how I can start creating my YouTube video. Okay, so you would need to read this through. And the great thing about the uh, responses is that you can see other drafts right here. So if you click on this selection right here, then you can see one, two, three drafts and you can switch in between them and just read through and select which one you think is the best and which one match the best what what you are asking for okay so let's go back on the first one and then you can see it proposes you to start with the intro uh telling you the step one find your niche picking your platform it also suggests how long you would stay for the each section okay and uh, yeah you can actually get a very good outline right here and then what i would suggest for you is just to go and then start asking for the content for the each of these sections instead of generating a longer piece of content at once so if you ask gemini itself how to deal with the longer term of um, so if I ask in my prompt what would be the fastest and the best way creating the actual script text with Gemini, Gemini will then tell you that first you need to break down the sections which we have done. So instead of prompting the entire script segment into the sections based on your outline. And then you can actually see the prompt for the each of these sections. So Gemini itself tells you that with the prompt like this, you can then get the actual script for your intro that will last 30 seconds okay so you have all these prompts written here with the placeholders where you can then change and amend the content and that's how you can then generate a section by section to create the entire script and this applies essentially for anything whether you're writing ebooks whether you're writing video scripts whether you're writing blog articles I don't know any piece of content that you think is more lengthy you always would start with the shorter sections with the outline first then you perhaps you can even break down the outline sections into smaller points and then even if you struggle with the prompt you can ask Gemini to write the prompt for you to actually get the content for these sections and that's how you work with Gemini all your chat history will be saved on this sidebar so if you expand this menu you will see what you have done before okay you can always start new chat from here and then if you have some conversation that you would like to pin it you think you get really good response by using specific prompts you can click on this tab right here and then just click simply click on pin and pin it and it will pin then on the top of your conversations okay or if you can also rename your chat and say something like do not use this prompt did not generate anything good for you okay so you can just mark it like that and easily find it like that so you will see your pin ones on the top and then you can rename them to easily find your conversations and as i can say from here you can share it now another uh, great thing that i didn't show you before is if you click on this modify response tab right here you can modify your response to make it shorter longer simple more casual or more professional so you can use these shortcuts instead of writing the prompts i would like this response to be more shorter or more casual toned 
and Gemini then will adjust the response okay and modify it as per your selection I hope you found this video helpful if so do subscribe click the like button and comment down below what videos you would like to see next and I will see you soon